Hello kids, it's lovely to see you again. Thank you for uh, watching this video. It's just terrific to have you with us. Um, we are thinking today about another story from the beginning of the Bible, from the beginning of um, the Bible in the Old Testament. Remember we had a look at it right here in the beginning. So a few years after, so that's the beginning of the Bible. Um, a few years after, uh, a man called Abraham. Um, there's a, a true story about him. But first of all, I want you to think about a country. Do you know what a country is? Do you know what country we live in? We live in a country called Australia. That's right. So we're also going to be talking about a country. And we're going to be talking about a promise. Now, a promise is something you make to somebody and then you keep the promise. So I'm going to make a promise to you that I'm going to ask Billy to come and say hello to you at the end of this uh, video. So that's my promise to you. So the story from the beginning of the Bible, from Genesis, is about the man called Abraham. And I've got Abraham here. Abraham was an old man and he lived in a country and he had a wife and her name was, does anybody know? Sarah. So Abraham and Sarah were quite old and they didn't have any family. And God made a promise to Abraham. God promised that Abraham would have a land and that he would have a very big family. God told Abraham that he wanted him to go and live in another country that God was going to give him. So, Abraham believed God and he took his uh, wife, Sarah, and all the people who lived with him. I'll have to move this Bible out of the way. All the people that lived with him, they packed up their clothes. So they had blankets and all sorts of things. So they packed them on the back of the camels. And everything else that they had, they packed food and everything. And they had lots of animals. I've only got one camel, but they had lots and lots. And Abraham led his family all the way, a very long journey. And they had to walk all the way because there were no cars or planes or anything. And they walked and they walked all the way to a land called Canaan. Can you see? I haven't got a very big table. It was much further than this table is. They walked and walked. That would have been quite hard. But when they got there, God said this was the land that he had promised to them. Abraham was very pleased. Abraham loved God and God kept his promise to Abraham. So, God made special promises to Abraham. He, God made the promise of a land that he could live in and a large family, even though Abraham and Sarah were quite old. God looked after Abraham and Sarah and looked after the people. God kept his promise to Abraham. So that's quite a long story. So I think we ought to have a bit of time to just relax a bit. So I want you to shake your hands like this and then stop. Shake your hands like this and then stop. Shake your hands like this and then stop. Now put your hands on your head, hands on your shoulders and hands in your lap. That's right. So have a little wiggle because I'm going to tell you something else about that's very important for you to know about. We're learning about the Bible this year and so this particular 
um, story about Abraham and Sarah is in the Bible at the beginning of the Bible. And the Bible has some numbers in it. And so if you look carefully, you'll see that this is a book called Genesis. And this is chapter 12. And you'll have to look really carefully, but you can see little numbers. And in these are verses. So in verse 1, 2, and 3, you can read about, or you can get somebody else to read for you, about the promises that God made to Abraham. So Genesis 12, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, there's a little rhyme that we can say. God promised to Abraham and his family land and a big family. In Genesis chapter 12, which is at 10 fingers and 2 fingers, so Genesis chapter 12, verses 1, 2 and 3. That's right. So Genesis 12, 1, 2 and 3. Let's pray and thank God for the promise that he made to Abraham and Sarah. Dear God, dear God, thank you for the promise you made to Abraham and Sarah. Thank you for the promise that you made to Abraham and Sarah. Thank you for looking after them. Thank you for looking after them. And thank you for looking after us. And thank you for looking after us. Amen. That means amen means I agree. So, And what did I promise you? I wonder if Billy is here. I wonder. Do you think he's here? Oh, there's Billy, the brush tail possum. Billy, would you like to say hello to the, the children? Okay. Hello. Hello. Wave to Billy. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it, Billy? Yes, it was fun. So that was me keeping my promise. And God kept his promise to Abraham. Okay, so here's our timeline, and we're, we're all in that first book called Genesis. The first um, story was about how God made everything. He made plants and animals and fish and birds and even us. And then we, there was a story about Adam and Eve here. And then a while later, there was a story about Noah and the big flood and the ark that he made. So today's story is about Abraham and his wife Sarah and their, uh, God's promise to them. So that's all in the book of Genesis. And for our craft today, um, you can make, I might put this down, you can make on a piece of paper, it's good if you get a bit of green or a bit of yellow paper, maybe, and you can stick all the people going on their long trip all the way to the land of Canaan. And this Canaan. And this tells you about Genesis chapter 12. So we can send you this page so you can cut out all of those um, different things. So you can cut out um, Abraham and Sarah and the people and all the animals and you can colour them in and stick them on a long bit of paper to show how long their journey was. So we'll send that to you by email and um, it would be lovely if you could take a picture of what you've done and send it back by email. See you next week kids. We'll be learning more about what happened to Abraham. Bye for now.